I'll start by bringing in a text node. This is just a normal 2D text node because we can get a nice uh, bevel with this. Let's pop in some text and I'm going to pick Astrolab as a font. There are better fonts out there. At the moment, the only one I've got that's anywhere near is Astrolab. We've got text connected to the media out with Astrolab and then need to create a bump map. So we'll do create bump map, bring that in. And as you can see, already got something here. It's not beveled, it's more on the edge. So I'm going to bring in an erode dilate. Now with erode dilate, you'll see that it pinches it in. And if I change this to Gaussian, Gaussian is pretty intense on GPU and CPU, but it does a great job here. So now I've got something a little bit better there. So we'll come into here, let's lift the height scale up. And now you can see I've got a nice bevel here. Lifted the height scale up to 100. Now if we zoom in, there are, it's a bit edgy, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do, before the road dilate, I'm going to bring in a blur node. And I can use that blur node just to take the edge off. Also what I can do, I think I'll just take the tracking up a little bit. What we need to do now, we need to take the text and bring it into the bump map as a mask. However, for some reason, Blackmagic have taken this out. So if we take this out of the flow, what we can do is we can add a merge node. And I can bring this back into the merge node. And I can have wood dilate up here and then pop this in here. A little bit of a workaround. What we need to do is take the erode dilate into both the merge and the bump map. Which is just really, if we put the bump map into the background, it would work with just one input on the merge, but this is tidier. So now I've got my text. Now, just to make things easier to see, I'm going to check off, check it under light. And that way we can see it in here, but it doesn't look like text at the moment. It just looks like a bump map. So let's work on that. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to bring down a fast noise. And I'm also going to get a displaced node, just a normal displaced node. I can actually bring down the bump up into here. Let's move them along, just tidy up. In the displaced node, we've got the option here at the moment. It's radial. We want to put it on X and Y and the X refraction and the Y refraction. We want to push that all the way up and then we can see through the fast noise. I am going to bring in a brightness contrast. I'm going to bring the text into the brightness contrast. In the brightness contrast, I'm going to come in and multiply by mask. Okay, what we can do now is come into the fast noise and we can start. Let's change this to gradient and we can play around with the gradient until we get it how we want it to look. So that looks okay. To make this better, I can select the fast noise. I'm going to add a background. This will add a merge. In the merge, we want to change the apply mode to multiply. In the background, I'm going to change it to a gradient. I'm going to bring the white side to the top and the black side to the bottom. Then we can see this. And then in the background, in the gradient, what we can do is select this side and we can bring up the red. And this will give us this color at the bottom. So just on the bottom edge. With the white side here, in fact, let's just open this. I'm going to have this to a just a blue. The, the subtler, the better. There we go. It's coming together. Now, after the merge, what we can do is we can bring in the brightness contrast. On the brightness contrast, if you bring in a rectangle mask, make the height almost zero and the width all the way to one. It's going to lift it up a bit so it's in the middle. And then in the brightness contrast, if we go into the gain, you can see we're just giving it this light here and we can use the rectangular mass and we can change this. And this is a, a give us a reflection in the actual text itself. So good way to get a reflection there. Again, subtle is nice. So we'll just go there, tidy up a little bit. Looking good, but it's, I'd say, a bit clean. We want to give it some texture. So I've actually got a grunge texture. I'm going to bring that in, merge that over the brightness contrast, change the apply mode to multiply. And then I want to bring in the text to this merge mask. Now this might be a good idea to use a pipe router. Tidied up the node tree a little bit. Let's have a look at the merge. Now you'll notice the grunge that I brought in isn't big enough. So I'm going to highlight this and just use a transform to scale that up. Then I'm going to bring in another brightness contrast just to brighten things up a bit. In the brightness contract, we can use the gain just to brighten it up a bit. You can also use the blend here. 
just to lighten it up a bit depending on what texture that you're using and connect everything up now there we go she's just going to save this because i've not saved it so i've got this saved if we come back into here we've got our nice background and what you can do is we can bring in effects like embers for example so i just need to go and find one manage to find uh, an embers that's it so there we go so that's how to make cinematic titles using uh, a simple text node um, for those of you that think, oh, I don't want to do that, no problem. There'll be a link in the description. You can download this and then I'll make it into a macro and then it'll be available on the edit page and you can just change your title. That's it for today's video. I'll catch you next time.